All right, real talk, where is the manga getting these stand abilities from? Because for crying out loud, they're just getting even more bizarre as the series goes along. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Welcome to Chris is talking. This is going to be a JoJo Part Five anime review, and this is going to be for Episode Six, titled Moody Jazz's Counter Attack. Now, Moody Jazz is Leone's stand ability or the stand name, and I find that pretty freaking cool. Now, it's interesting because it's different to what is in the manga, which is the Moody Blues. I only know that because whilst trying to do some research and trying to figure out what the hell his stand ability was, I know we got introduced to it in the anime, but I'm not going to lie to you, I did not really get what the actual ability was I, I i got it but i kind of didn't want to just chat a lot of shit to you so thought let me actually just kind of back up my notes with what the actual ability is and i found out that the name in, um on the jojo wiki was moody blues which kind of led me to think how many other names have or stand names have been changed in this series uh prior to this and afterwards i know quite a few have been changed because of the whole copyright um that i know they had like a lot of rock band names prior to this but how many more changes have been done? All right, now this episode was pretty interesting because it starts off exactly where we ended off in the last episode, which was Bruno and Leone trying to figure out what happened to the rest of the team and what the stand ability of the anti what, what the antagonist stand ability is. And we don't really get this, we don't really get to know what the stand ability is right up to the end. And even then, when we found out what, uh, what's the name again, Mario's stand ability was, I was like, I don't, uh, I'm sorry what you can deflate people you can deflate inanimate objects and that this is that is kind of crazy because where is this manga getting these stand abilities from like it's just it's just very creative now this episode pretty much focused on leone and having a better characterization and um letting us know a bit more of why he does what he does and who he is as a person because he, we only pretty much got introduced to him in the last episode and he seemed like he was quite a prick especially with his interaction with Jojo uh, with the whole pissing in a teacup which I was just like oh what the hell was that about so it was cool to get a, um, a bit more depth with his character and to find out that he was in law enforcement and also why he got into law enforcement and what led him to pretty much stop being in law enforcement and, and joining Bruno's team. The reason why Leone left was because of the contradictions that he noticed within uh, society and within his role and his role with society and how he's trying to save these people who don't even want to save themselves and how that led to him becoming a crooked cop and pretty much the consequences led to his partner being killed and him just being an alcoholic and a drunk with Bruno coming in to save the day at the very end and making him join his team in the Passione gang. Now at first I was wondering this 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 backstory is a little bit out of place we do need it but I didn't really think it was necessary to have it like right there until we find out what Leone's stand ability is and Moody Jazz what the hell that is such an OP stand ability and not just OP but it's OP because of the person who's controlling that stand ability. As I said, as I just mentioned, Leone used to be a police investigator before and Moody Jazz's stand ability is literally the best ability for a police officer or an investigator as you get to go through the scenes of what happened for you at five minutes, you get to fast forward, rewind. I'm thinking, Whoa, what the hell? This is such a sick ability. Now, the actual uh, notes for what the ability actually can actually do is, all right, so there's Moody Blues here, but Moody Blues' uh, primary ability is to reenact or replay past events of utmost precision, allowing Abachino to freely investigate events. Not only can it recreate events, but it also recreated Narancia's headphone music. Like, what the actual fuck? That is so sick. But even though Leone was, a, it was a, pretty much a Leone episode, it was Bruno who came and saved the day at the very end. And I personally don't get how Bruno came to that conclusion or that deduction that the stand, uh, that, that the antagonist stand's ability was to deflate another boat within a boat. I was like, wait, how did you, wait, Bruno, how did you get to this? But this is Jojo, so I'm not going to try and nitpick too much how they get to their conclusions because sometimes I'm just like, what? And Joseph Joestar in part two, he was, he was, yeah, he, he, his conclusions were quite a stretch. So I'm not going to go all crazy on this series for not going into 
crazy death because it, it is kind of bizarre I guess. Now the antagonist in this episode was Mario Zuchiro and this guy like he was what is up with this guy? He really wanted that money. He really wanted them lira. And uh, it seems that like, he is he dead? Because I see his head got taken off. All right, now I know some of you manga readers are gonna try and tell me the reason why he's still alive or this and that. And I don't know, he's not dead. Or did you see him die? Or did it get confirmed that he's dead? Oh, and obviously, I don't know. I'm just going by the anime, but his head got zipped off by Bruno, so I think a normal person would be dead, but I'm interested to see where this is going to go in the next episode. Overall, I thought this was a really good episode as um, we got a lot of depth and the characterization and the connection between Bruno and Leone, as well as Leone's stand ability, as well as knowing how crazy the stand abilities can get. And I, you know what? I honestly can't wait to see Leone stand in a fight because even though that's the stand abilities, the whole rewinding time and everything, um, but being like, I don't know, watching it on a DVD, but can the humanoid form actually fight as well? Which will be interesting to see because I know that stands have abilities plus then humanoid or their physical forms as well. So, I don't know. Uh, overall, really enjoyed this episode. What are your thoughts on this episode? Did you like Leonie's stand ability? Was you expecting Bruno to be the person to solve the mystery at the end? How did you feel about the conclusion with <laughs> Bruno's conclusion? And also, what did you think of the villain's or the antagonist's stand ability as well? Because that shit was kind of weird. That was quite creepy especially when you find out like the bones also get deflated as well but they're still inside the body Ugh, don't like that really don't like that but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review and do return for more jojo videos in the future as well as seven daily sins videos as well which are several times throughout the week so if you're a taizai fan or a jojo fan or a, a reincarnated as a slime fan that could be a reason why you may enjoy this channel uh but yeah i'm gonna leave it at that take care otaku chris is talking Oh, what? I wonder what the next standabilities are going to be in the future. Oh, shit. Peace.